right, hockey fans, huh? What do you think? Five, we're, we're, we're doing a Western Conference game, yeah? Every video, I got a fluffy hair on the, on the rim of my hat. I think we got it. All right, so we got this. Come on. We got the Stars. We got the Knights tonight. Now, before we get started, if you're new here, uh, you wouldn't know it, but I've been making videos for eight seasons, just about 2,500 videos for the Panthers channel, but we don't discriminate. Right? You know what I mean? All fans are welcome. And um, as an aside, I was wearing a Bruins hat in the Bruins Leafs series, and a couple of Bruins fans have accused me of only wearing the Bruins hat for uh, clout and attention. I, I, I really, um, I got busted. I'm busted because I didn't, that was my secret plan, was to make Panthers videos for eight years and then strike right in the moment and suddenly get all the attention for wearing a Bruins hat. Damn, I'm busted. The point is, yes, I'm wearing a Stars jersey. You didn't think I was going to wear something Vegas, did you? No. And you'll notice the hat is just my St. Bernard dad hat because I don't have a Stars hat. I sure as hell wasn't wearing a Panthers hat with Stars jersey. Now, it should not be difficult um, to determine which um, team that my son and I are rooting for tonight. That's easy to see. Although I would like to see Game 7, because if we can get a Game 6 on Saturday with Bruins and Leafs, and then a Game 7 on Saturday with these two teams, I think that would just be enjoyable for the entire hockey world as long as Dallas wins. As long as Dallas wins, right, wouldn't that be something if back-to-back -back Toronto wins Game 7 and then the Stars win the next day? Oh, and Vegas is eliminated. That would be... I think there'll be a lot of people happy with that. Now, Aiden Hill draws back in. The name rings a bell. I can't remember exactly where I've heard of this guy before. One of you can let me know in the comments. I know I've heard his name somewhere, but uh, just the memory escapes me. I wish it would escape me. Other than that, Dallas and Vegas have exchanged winning two in a row on the road. I don't ask me. I don't know the answer to that question either. What I would like to see tonight, how about a 7-6 to six triple overtime victory from the Stars? For those of you who are new here, you would be um, you would be quite surprised at how many times I ask for something like that and it happens. So if it does happen, it's my bad. All right, Dallas, do us well. We're in, we're in Dallas tonight, so if just good game. Good game. Good game. Beat the crap out of them. All right, so 2-2 two, two after 1. That was a fun period of play. And if they do that in the second period and then the third period, it will be 6-6, six, six, and it will have to be 7-6 game winner in overtime. So, so far, uh, we're getting what we want around here. Not a lot of defense. Um, Aiden Hill looks he looked better towards the end of the period, but uh, neither one of the goalies have really been lighting it up. The second one that Ottinger gave up was bad. Now, it was, a, it was a good effort and a good shot, kind of a wrap around there. So I'm not taking anything away, but uh, Ottinger just did not have good position. And when he, when he slid back to cover the post, his skate went behind the line and not up against the post. And there was plenty of room for the wraparound. So not great goaltending there. And the defense is just kind of up and down the ice with the exception, of course, Hannafin, who managed to break up a one-on-three by himself. Yeah, that's nice. All right, so far, good game. Let's move on to second period. All right, so it's 3-2 Dallas after two. Robertson gets one on the power play, um, and this is all I want to talk about for this period. I got to know. I got to know how... Petrangelo, forearm Sigan, 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 Sequin. I can't say his name right. Sigan, I say it right sometimes. He forearms him right into the nose. And there's blood. And they call five minutes. And then they look at it, and they not just reduce it, but they reduce it to just a two-minute minor. Not even a double minor. So what they're saying is, 
if you inadvertently hit somebody and pick their nose with your stick and there's a drop of blood, that's four minutes. But if you just elbow a freaking guy in the face, you know, uh, using your forearm and there's blood everywhere, that's just two minutes. I, I got to know. I know I'm for Dallas. I know I'm not exactly a fan of Vegas. But it's got nothing to do with that. You damn near punched a guy in the face. It's blood. How is it not a double minor? I really got to know. That said, we're looking to have a good third period. I see how this... I, it's going to go to overtime, I'm sure. All right. So I am just shocked. Beyond all reason, there was no point in that period. Oh, I got my sleeves rolled up. Because we were we had ice cream with, and with brownies, and I didn't want to get the sleeves all messed up. There was no point in that period that I thought at any point that Vegas wasn't going to tie the game. And they pretty much almost did, right? Andre made a couple of saves, especially the one on the breakaway. He's the only reason why the game did not, you know, we're not going into overtime. I didn't think Dallas had it in him, man, to take Vegas for an entire period. And Vegas was coming and coming and coming at him. And Andre just, he he pulled it. He, he, pulled, he pulled it out of the hat, the rabbit out of the hat. But he put an otter out of the hat instead. They had the guy, they got the... The fans, they got the otter masks on, and then the one dude had the dog mask on before the, uh, behind the uh, penalty box. I got a kick out of that. I, I was enjoying watching him. <laughs> he was he was having a good time. Um, so we're one game away, right? We're one game away, and I had wanted a seven-game series, right? But I wouldn't mind Dallas winning in six, but Dallas closing it out in Vegas the Knights going out in Vegas, that don't sound likely. That doesn't sound likely. And it took all of the energy from the crowd tonight to get this one goal victory. Um, but I mean, you got to hand it to Dallas. I still can't believe it. I thought for sure the whole period, I'm like, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way they're going to hold this lead. And they did. And barely, but barely counts. Absolutely barely counts, man. What, what that was a good game. I expect we're going to see seven out of this. Um, congratulations, Dallas. They look good and everything, but I don't think they're going to be able to eliminate them in Vegas. That's Vegas ain't going to go down like that. But game seven, back here, if Dallas can do that again, the NHL will be rid of the team that shall not be named. You know, it, it is what it is. I'm not bitter. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not bitter. No, nah, no, no, not not at all. All right, short and sweet. Good game. Had a lot of fun. Thank you all for joining us on the stream tonight. Well, we're still getting even from the non-Panther games, like 150 people. That is just fantastic. I love it. Um, we'll be live tomorrow noon. Colin and I will be live tomorrow noon. And then we'll be live tomorrow night for, ooh, game six. Game six, Bruins and Leafs, which is just this this run of games after the Panthers have won, I I cannot express to you how much I am enjoying this because I started the channel eight years ago, right? So the first three years, Panthers not in the playoffs. So I'm watching the playoffs, but it's gonna like, oh damn it, we didn't make the playoffs. And then the other years, we lose the playoffs, lose the playoffs. So when the playoffs continue, I'd be like, eh, well, we lost in the playoffs. And then last year happened, and well, though we lost in the final, there was at no point in time where we were watching hockey and going, well, damn it, we lost. So this is, this is new because we're just getting to sit back and watch game after game after game with nothing to worry about. Ain't nothing for us to do but sit there and enjoy hockey. We haven't lost. We still got time to play. I like this. It's almost like how I used to watch the sports before I had the YouTube channel. You forget how to watch the games. All right, everybody. Appreciate all the support. Hit that subscribe button. Do me a favor. Eight years. been trying to get to 8,000 subscribers by the end of this season. Help me out. Hit that subscribe button. Other than that, Dallas, you got one more to go. Just one. Not two. Well, we'll, we'll do game seven. We'll be here.